The Smart Money Group is proud to announce the new floating betting strategy by betting the winner and Chop Marty 9 system. Now, Bet the Winner and Chop Marty 9 is a new system with a floating betting strategy opposed to a grand martingale. Your bankroll is 2700 for Marty 8, and if you want to go Marty 9, it's an additional 2900 for a total of $5,600, but the option is yours. Here are some of the rules to remember. Always bet on the winner except after a three-hand chop. Continue that chop on the fourth hand through the eighth hand. Your stop loss is $100 per session. Now here are the odds of losing a six, seven, eight, and or a nine Martingale. One out of 64 for six losses. Seven losses, one out of 128. Eight losses in a row, one out of 256. And if you're unlucky, nine losses in a row, one out of 512, I like your odds. So this exciting new system will pick up all the banker and player streaks along with all chops and overcomes the terrible twos pattern you see so often. So let's go now to the new simulator. Okay, we're at our new simulator and we wanna show you exactly how the system works. Uh, we're going to start with a $10 bet. So it's 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, 320, 640, and 1430 on a Marty 8. If you want to go to a Marty 9, that's an additional $2,900. The option is yours. Now we run a system where we give you a boilerplate of a regular Martingale Marty 8. However, we're going to use the new floating betting system. That's why we don't use a grand Martingale. We save that money for a floating betting system, which we're going to show you how that works. It's truly amazing. So remember, it's bet the winner, except for a chop, and I'll show you exactly how that works. So let's make the first bet, which is a $10 bet. And uh, before we do that, we have to get one free hand so that we know who the winner is, and the winner is a player. So the first bet is gonna be $10 on player. We make that bet, and it's a banker win. So the next bet is a $20 bet on banker. Banker's the winner, and it is a banker win. When you win, go back to the $10 bet on the winner. So that's another $10 on banker, and that's a player win. So now we go $20 on player, and that is another banker win. So the next bet is $40 on banker, that's the winner and we'll deal and that's a player win so here is the chop we have a player banker and player so the next bet is an $80 bet on banker so let's make that bet so you continue the chop and that's a tie let's do it again okay and the winner is a player so the next bet is $160 on player. So let's make that bet. 150 dollars $60 on player, and player wins. So now look at your shoe total, you're up to $20. Now the player is the winner, and hopefully we can catch a player streak. So again, go back to the $10 bet on player, and that is a win. Our shoe balance is now up to $30. Let's make a rebet. Player wins again. Shoe balance is 40. Now, once we hit a 60, 70, 80, 90 dollar balance, then we'll use the floating betting system. We're not there yet, so let's now repeat the player bet, and that's a tie. And let's do it again and it's a banker so the next bet's going to be twenty dollars on banker who is the winner and it's a player win next bet is forty dollars on player that was the winner and it's a tie we'll rebet and it's a banker win so the next bet now let's look at the chop again 
banker, player, banker is an $80 bet on player to continue the chop. And that's the bet. And the player wins. The chop is successful. Now let's bet the next chop, which should be banker. Just continue the chop. So it's a $10 bet on banker. Player wins. So now the next bet is $20 on player who was the winner. Make that bet. That's a tie. Let's do it again. And player wins. So now we're into the floating betting strategy. So your goal is to get to the $100 stop loss as fast as possible. That's why we do not grand martingale. We use the floating betting strategy. So your next bet is going to be a $40 bet on player who was the winner. If you win this, then you're out of the shoe. You've got your $100. Go on to the next shoe. Let's bet that. And that's a loss. So the next bet is going to be $80 on banker. We're going to continue the floating betting system to get you out of the shoe. And that's a loss. So your next bet is going to be $160 on player who is the winner. If you win this, you're out of the shoe. And that's the bet. And it's a tie. Let's re-bet. And the banker wins. So let's go back to the chop. It's a banker, player, banker. Next bet would be a $320 bet on player. Let's do that again. $320 on player. And that's a win. Now you did get to your goal, which is $100. You're out of the shoe, but this is the best scenario. It showed you that this system gets through the chops, also provides winning on the streak. So whether it be a banker streak or player streak, streak you're gonna hit them all. So there's only one real way you can lose this is if you've got three chops, an interruption in that chop, then three more chops, another interruption in that chop, and then go on to the last chop. That is very rare. It appears maybe once out of 500 sessions, uh, thus the uh, Marty 9 system and the floating betting system. So this is a good example of how the floating bet works. Let's record this. We're going to finish the shoe and this is going to record and I want to know how many wins and how many losses I had in that particular session. So we go to results and we go to the played by and we're gonna actually look at now. This was a, a very long session, much longer than usual, but we got through it. And sure enough, you've won seven, lost 12. So that's why flat betting will never work. Only in this type of uh, floating betting transition will this actually work. So flat betting folks is never gonna work. You're never gonna win more hands than you lose uh, in the long run uh, it's just never going to happen so let's go to a new shoe let's play a new shoe and this is also very fun fun to play so let's start a new shoe and again our starting bet is uh, going to be ten dollars we want to see who the winner is going to be so we get a free hand and the winner is banker so we're going to play ten dollars on banker and we won that we're going to repeat that because that's the winner and we have a player win so the next bet is going to be twenty dollars on player and the player wins so we're going to repeat that ten dollars on player and the banker won so now let's bet twenty dollars on banker and the banker won let me just pause here here are the terrible twos Look how nicely we got through the terrible twos and we have a $30 shoe balance. So the next bet is gonna be $10 banker. That's the winner. Player came up. So now a $20 bet on player. And there you go. We continue to win with these terrible twos. So the next bet is $10 on player. 
and Banker won. So the next bet is $20 on Banker. And the player won. So here comes a chop now, possibly. So now we're going to bet $40 on player. That was the winner. And that's the next bet in the sequence. And player wins. So now, despite the terrible twos, we have a shoe balance of $50, only $10 away from using the floating betting system. So now it's $10 on player to continue the winning system. And we're there. So we have $10 on player. Our shoe balance is now $60. Love the streak. Next bet, folks, is going to be $40 on player. And hopefully the streak will continue. It doesn't. So there's a banker win. So the next bet is $80 on banker. And if you win, you're out of the shoe. It loses. So now you're starting to chop again. So the next bet using the floating betting system is going to be $160 on banker. Uh, because I'm sorry, on player. So it's $100. and $60 on the player. If you win this bet, you're out of the shoe. And you did. So you won that bet out of the shoe. Your shoe balance is $100. Let's finish this and let's take a look at our win-loss record on this particular session. So this is saving and uh, let's look at the results. If I played shoe, Let's take a peek, and sure enough, it is a 50-50 session. Seven wins, seven losses. Very good. Whenever you can achieve uh, a 7-7, seven, seven, that's excellent. Let's play one more shoe, and we're going to start a new shoe here. All right, again, our starting bet, minimum bet, is $10. Let's get a free hand and see who the winner is. The winner is a player. So it's a $10 bet on player. Let's start. It's a tie. You're also gonna notice in the, big, in the beginning of shoes, you'll get like quite a few ties. That's a pretty easy trend to figure out. And the next bet is going to be, uh, well, let's go back. We didn't make a bet so we can undo the last hand. I love this system because you can undo any mistakes you make. So we want a $10 bet on player. Let's deal that. And a banker one. So now the next bet is $20 on banker. And the banker won. Next bet is $10 on banker. Always go back to the original minimum bet when you win. I'm the winner. So that's another win for Banker. Let's repeat that. And it's a player win. So now it's $20 on player. Banker won. So now we've got a $40 bet on Banker. That's the winner. Might be going into a chop, so be ready. Banker won. Great. So now we're at a $30 shoe balance. Go back the $10 bet on Banker, who was the winner. And Banker wins again. Hopefully we hit a streak. Let's repeat that bet. And Player won. Great. So we're going to now bet $20 on Player. And it's a tie. Let's do it again. And Player won. So now our shoe balance is 50 our next bet is $10 on player. That's the winner, but banker won. Next bet is $20 on banker. Now, if you win this, you'll be in striking distance with the floating bet. It's a tie. And sure enough, we hit the banker. So now it's time for your floating bet, which is a $40 bet on banker to get you out of the shoe. And this would be your third win if you hit this. We want a banker and we got a player. So the next bet is $80 on player to get you out of the shoe. And let's put $80 up, let's hit it. And banker won. 
So get ready for the chop. The next bet is 160 on banker. 160. Again, if you win this hand, you'll be out of the shoe. And it's a tie. Let's do it again. Player one. So now here comes the chop. Player, banker, player. Next bet is $320, and that's going to be on the banker. And let's hit that. And the banker one. So now we're going to stop here because we hit our goal, which is a $100 stop loss. This will probably continue, but we don't care. Let's finish this shoot. That's $300. It probably took you under 30 minutes uh, in a live casino. That's how fast this is. So let's see what our scorecard looks like. As a result, we'll go to the play shoes. Let's take a peek. And um, here we are. We lost eight, one, seven. Um, not bad, but it did equal another $100 win. And so for the three sh sessions we played today would be 24, 14 hands, and 19 hands. Um, we were tested in the very first session that we played, got through it no problem, and uh, went to a Marty 6 on one of them. That's why we have nine martingales in this case it's really not a martingale or a grand martingale it's a floating bet so that's really how easy this is um, do not play more than five sessions per day or per evening if you play at night you just want to play it safe so i want to thank you for joining you should try this at home it's a great system and uh have a nice day